good day beautiful black and white america and so colorful america first of all i want to tell you that i am not a journalist no i am not a politician either but this time period that we have in pandemic in this country all over the world pandemic is destroying lot of people at the same time what i want to say is pandemic you can cure if you find a vaccine that will eradicate it but the problem that we have in the country the, the discrimination and violence unless we all sit down together so this issue there won't be any vaccine for this one it will take years and years so my left hand side miss tina parker and her son quincy parker my right hand side captain keith crawlman uh, to discuss what we could do in future to prevent or avoid certain situation that we had in the recent past george floyd the person who was killed in minneapolis i'm going to ask you question first of all i'm going to ask direct this question to uh, miss tina parker uh, miss tina parker can you please introduce yourself hi my name is tina i currently employed and i'm retired okay about quincy quincy my friend do you believe that we have social uh, racial discrimination in this country uh yes doctor uh, i do i believe we have you know different cases and different tiers of uh, of social discrimination and uh racism that exists in the country um you know i've experienced stuff on the lower tiers you know other people experience stuff on the higher tiers but yeah i believe it's have it it's here in america it's been recorded it's documented it's a it's an issue that that america faces and it needs to be talked about so what kind of challenge you had uh, when you were growing up in the school and colleges in in the schools uh my issues more so came from uh the elementary uh my elementary era um i was more targeted than my other classmates um they were trying to you know things that little boys do they might act out a little bit and you know they might do certain things you know but it's it's within the realm of being a child uh i was more so penalized for that behavior uh than than other classmates and you know when you look back i i believe second grade and when you look back you kind of notice the disparities between the treatment of you and, and you know your other classmates or your peers um college it's 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 not as bad it's not you know as prominent it's just you notice there's a lack of african americans just in the field just in like civil engineering but i don't really feel discriminated against if that's you know to 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 be fair on that point why did you join uh, police police department um i joined because i had a um way back in high school i wasn't the greatest high school student um and i had a gentleman that was teaching a law enforcement class and uh he had such an impact on me and an influence on me to go out and serve and um serve your country serve your community it had such an impact on me um that um i wanted to be like him and so uh i had a role model and um i got lucky and got into the field do you believe in, in genuinely that we have racial discrimination racial issues in this country oh there there's obviously a history here in this country of having racism and um discrimination yes 